But welcome to this very short video. Um, it's really a footnote to the previous work that I did with these lovely pictures. We finished up successfully, although not staggeringly good, producing a bitmap picture with a grayscale scanning technique. It didn't compare with the original DOT system, but it was an 80% comparison. But when I finished editing the video, I thought, hang on, I haven't been really fair to this system because I didn't check a comparison with the checker pattern. Could I make the checker pattern into a grayscale and see how well it produces dots? Well, let's just take a look at the pattern that I produced and you'll see what I mean. Here's the result. It's certainly not anything like the quality results that we get with normal dot engraving. But hey, we, we've got the essence of some dots in here. I fiddled around with the parameters to get the results this good. I know they're not good, but you know, this is the best that I could get. And it came out with some reasonable dots. Now this was done, remember, at 600 millimeters a second. And I'm still getting pretty reasonable dots, as you can see, along here in places. It gets a bit fuzzy in other places, but it does show you that, you know, that it, the, the machine is capable of putting dots down at 600 millimeters a second. Now, the other thing that I've done with this has ignored this strange minimum setting that I was trying to achieve at 7%. And I just set it straight back to 1% the minimum that the machine can handle, i.e. it would appear that the tube is actually off. So this was done at 1% and 30%, 600 millimeters a second. It's not brilliant, but it looks half decent. Let's try the Tiger again. It's still not quite as crisp as the dot pattern, but this is very, very remarkable. This is a dithered image that is, had been converted to grayscale. We're running this as a, as a 3D engraving. You will note one thing that's happening that makes this directly comparable with my test pattern, and that is I'm using X unilateralism. It's only scanning in one direction. We'll, we'll, we'll quickly run across these three pictures and just compare the crispness of the eyes. Because that's one thing that will tell us exactly how these are comparing. You can see the light in the eyes there. I mean, there's no doubt about it that that one is the crispest, cleanest picture. Let's also take a quick look down there at those whiskers on his chin. Particularly, let's take a look just down here. Take that one, for instance. It's just not there. We've got lots of whiskers there, but not that particular one, it's missing. So there's a little bit of detail that's missing off of there. But there's even more detail missing off of that one. So my second attempt at grayscale engraving a dithered picture was a lot more successful. But it still doesn't marry up to that one. On balance, the, the light bulb moment I had hasn't been completely realized, but it hasn't been the failure that I first thought it would be. And in fact, I'm quite happy to try this process again on a good quality picture in the future, because I still think that this has actually got quite a lot of promise. This is done at 200 millimeters a second. This is done at 600 millimeters a second. Now, with this new lightweight head that I've got on here, I've got the potential, I think, for getting this up to almost a thousand millimeters a second. And I do believe that the technique I've used here 
will still allow me to produce good pictures at a thousand millimeters a second. But that's another day and another set of experiments. So thanks again for your time.